Well, it's something you saw in old Western TV shows or movies, but we found out horse theft still a problem now as it was in the Old West. A Shelby woman is making it her mission to find stolen horses. WBTV's Trent Ferris shares her story all new at 6. Story for all the horses that are missing out there. Ten years ago, Debbie Metcalf and her husband Harold lost a family member. And one day we walked out and she was gone. Their horse, Idaho, was horse-napped in broad daylight from their pasture. But they cut right down by the fence here. Debbie and Harold littered the country with flyers and made calls to everyone they knew. A year later, Idaho was found in Tennessee. And she almost passed the car to get to Harold. That's how Stolen Horse International and NetPosse.com was born. People started coming to us and saying, uh, our horse was stolen too, and if you'll help us find our horse, we'll help you find yours. The site has Idaho alerts, similar to Amber alerts for missing children, where members are alerted when a horse, tack, or even trailers are stolen. Just before Christmas, we had six horses reported in one day. It's estimated 40,000 horses are stolen each year. Horse theft in North Carolina is a felony and can land you in jail for over two years. But most modern-day horse wrestlers get away with the crime because it's hard to prove that a horse was stolen. Say, I just found it walking down the road, or somebody sold it to me at a sale. And... Right now on NetPosse.com, there are ten horses in North Carolina and three in South Carolina stolen or missing. Sold for easy money, a gift, or... Sometimes they're just the drunk coming home on a Saturday night. It just needs to hop a horse to ride home. Unlike a stolen car, horses don't come with a VIN number, but there are a few ways to ID a horse, modern and old. So we highly recommend that you freeze brand them, and we also recommend that you microchip. Now 23 years old and back where she belongs, Idaho is retired, but works as a spokeshorse for Debbie and Harold for all the horses missing, proof that you can bring them home. In Shelby, Trent Ferris, WBTV News 3. About 60% of the horses on the NetPosse.com website have been found. It's really unbelievable. You can check it out by going to our web channel, WBTV.com, then click on All Access. Well, Rain, in our area.